Good afternoon, YouTube. This is episode number two of Tech for the Little T? No, 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 no. I don't I don't want tea. Thank you. Good afternoon, YouTube. Want some tea? Don't interrupt me again. I'm filming the second episode. Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Tech for Dummies episode three. And today we're going to Want some tea? I said that I don't want tea. No. Could just go back. Good afternoon, YouTube. This is episode number three of Tech for Dummies. And today we're going to Have some tea. I don't want tea. Good afternoon, YouTube. Today I'm going to Hey, welcome back YouTubers and filmmakers from Insanity Films, Alessio here, your host for Tech for Dummies episode number two. First of all, I'd like to thank you for watching the first episode, which you can find right in the cards up there. Yep, up there. So today we're gonna take a look at this little effect that I've done in the intro, which is pretty easy. This is why I call it Tech for Dummies, because we're gonna do simple stuff that you know people will like to do in the daily basis with the cheap gear, with whatever you can find around your, your house. On a little note, if you enjoyed our first episode and you are enjoying this second episode, please, you know, consider to subscribe, like, comment down below and let us know what would you like to see in the next episode. If it's about cheap gear, cheap light, cheap phone, like phonography, filming with your phone. A lot of people film with their phone today, like I did. Uh, you can check some of my short films done with the, with the Google Pixel 3, right in the cards right there. Uh, and don't forget, to comment down below what you think about it. And if you guys are okay with it, in episode number three, we can maybe do a comparison, you know, the Canon 250D versus the Google Pixel 4. How about that? I think it's time to jump into After Effects and see how the hell did I do the effect did you see in the intro. First of all, just drag and drop your clip into the timeline, just like that and it will literally set all your uh, composition settings right away automatically. You can check them, but they're fine. After that, we need to do motion tracking for a couple of things. We need to track the mug with the fake hot water and a part of my body that is trackable, like let's say my nose piercing or my, my tie or something like that. There are many ways to track them. You can use Mocha, you can use a motion tracking in After Effects. It doesn't matter. As long as you have a solid track, you can always refine it by, by keyframe. Once we have our tracks done, we set them to a null object and the null object will follow whatever we tracked. So we can attach anything we want to that null object. In our case, we're gonna just drag and drop some smoke element effects from Video Copilot and we parent them to the null. After that, we're gonna just tweak around a little bit the position of the smoke, maybe the blending mode as well, and see how fast or slow they are. We can always time remap them anyway. Uh, there are many ways to do that, so we're not gonna go through that. And voila, guys, basically it's done. After that, you can go to Premiere Pro, add some sound effects like the burning, the hot water, and other stuff. That is all up to you. Usually, don't try to copy what you see online, but it's a good guide to have a little basics of the effects that you want to do and uh yeah let us know in the comment down below what would you like to see in the next episode Alrighty then we are at the end of the episode so guys thanks for tuning in thanks so much for watching remember as usual to subscribe comment down below like leave blah, blah blah and i really hope i'll see you next week for episode number three on insanity films i'll let you hear your host and as usual insanity films out